both refer to God freely extending himself, his favor, his grace, reaching people because he is disposed to bless them. Grace is God saying, I'm good, you're not, and in my goodness, I'm gonna bless you. When we talk about this idea of being unoffendable, it is vital to know that we cannot move on quickly. There is a response that is supposed to come out of us that is different than the usual us. Okay, you guys aren't understanding what I'm saying. So this is what I'm gonna do. What I'm planning on doing today, I hope I am effective, is I'm gonna tell you about God. And then I'm gonna talk about me, and then I'm gonna talk about you. I don't wanna start with you because you're not high enough. I don't wanna start with me because I suck. I wanna start with God because that's where everything comes from. That's where we learn, that's where we grow, that's where we get our marching orders, or at least we should. That was an amen moment, you missed it, there will be more. <laughs> Today, I wanna to talk to you about grace and mercy, or mercy and grace. Now, in our current culture, we don't use the word mercy a lot. We don't like that word. That word is not very comfortable. We like the word grace. You don't have to be a church person to talk about grace. Unbelievers talk about grace, but they're not talking about what we talk about when we talk about grace. And for some of you Christians who've been a Christian for a long time, you have a problem with grace and mercy because you think they're the same thing. You ain't got to say amen, I know. I've heard you talk. But that's how we've communicated these two powerful God pieces. We've acted as if they're the same, but when they're the same, they lose their individual power. Both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, we get grace and mercy combined, but they are not the same thing. I would argue they're siblings, maybe even twins, but even twins aren't exactly the same. They're both gifts from God, but their function is very different. I'm gonna start in the Old Testament. I will give you the definition in the New Testament because that's where we're gonna to live today. But let me read from 2 Chronicles 30 and 9, and it says this, for if you return to the Lord, your brothers and your children will find compassion with their captors and return to this land. This is God telling the people a promise that if you mess up, I'm still gonna be good to you. For the Lord your God is what? Gracious and merciful and will not turn away his face from you if you return to him. Do you see this double whammy of grace and mercy? He is gracious and merciful. The reason that's not just one word is because they mean two things. Okay? What do they mean, Damien? I'm about to tell you, shh, calm down. Mercy, in the New Testament, mercy is the word in, in the ancient Greek, elios, elios. Pity, mercy, compassion, goodwill towards miserable and afflicted, joined with desire to relieve them, clemency of God in providing an offering to men. Do you catch that? Compassion, the word I like there is clemency. It carries the connotation that you did the crime but you don't have to do the time. Is anybody grateful for God's mercy? Is there another person in the house that's just a little screwed up? You've messed up, you don't need anybody to tell you how screwed up you are. Other people are trying to prove how good they are, but you're like, no, I'm a wreck. See, when you own that part of yourself, then you're grateful for mercy. We have not walked away from being unoffendable. I'm just setting the groundwork. Grace, what is grace? Caress, caress, grace. Favor, kindness, as a gift or blessing brought to man by Jesus. Both refer to God freely extending himself, his favor, his grace, 
reaching people because he is disposed to bless them. You catch that? Grace is God saying, I'm good, you're not, and in my goodness, I'm going to bless you. I knew I'd get some amens on that one. Mercy, you guys were like, mm. But grace would be like, yes, a blessing. Mercy says, you screwed up. But instead of having to deal with the full brunt ramifications, consequences of your mess up, I'm going to erase the debt. Grace on the other side says, I saw what you did, and even though you did what you did, and you don't have to experience what you need to experience, I'm going to bless you because I'm good. 